Hey guys, Roman Super Saiyan here, back again with another episode of Vainglory. And this time I am playing Kashka, part of my player build series. So let's go ahead and get our first ability here. Now we're going to start off with a crystal bit and a couple of potions and head on over to possibly an invasion. Alright, so this is Soul of the Kids Kashka build, where our total build is going to be is alternate occurrence, aftershock. Journey Boots, Shatter Glass, a Crucible, and then second defensive item according to the enemy team's build, he says. Uh, early game, we go Crystal Bit or Swift Shooter, two health pots, into a Blazing Salvo, as well as a Heavy Prism, and then Alternating Current. So let's just focus on that for now. Don't get too caught up on the build order just yet. Yeah. <coughs> Guess we'll just stick with the team here. We still harassing this? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, they have a Ringo jungling or I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, they're just gonna push lane. This is risky. Yeah. Oh shoot, <laughs> I grabbed the wrong ability. Gosh dang it. It's alright. We can manage. Kuro managed to survive, so that's good. Ringo is okay. Grab this guy real quick. Get our boots. Alright, so then he says Swift Shooter. Alright, so let's go and build under that. Get another potion, because we're awesome. Uh, how about a Scout Trap? Yeah. This is going to be so good. Cruel does have an Iron Guard. Okay. I don't want him to be running around by himself, though. Yeah. Not too shabby. Dude, wait for your buff or something, man. Passive. Good job. <laughs> Get my health back up. Man, we're just so aggressive. We haven't even gone to like our jungle yet. That's how crazy it is right now. Thank you. 
Dang it. <laughs> Get him. Oh, uh, what? It's not up. <coughs> okay. Now it's starting to look pretty grim. Actually, I'm just going to go jungle. I meant to get some items, but it's right. <coughs> Is our Ringo okay? Eh, he's fine. That was fun, though. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for Cruel to come on by. Yeah! Oh man! Amazing! Actually, going to head back. And wait for this alternate occurrence. So after after alternating current, we're gonna go ahead and head towards. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, cool, it's fine. An aftershock. So. You want an hourglass or a crystal bit, and then obviously into their tier two items, which correspond to an aftershock, and then aftershock of course after that. Yay, we're doing it! Super aggressive team we are. Oh my god. I made a gingerbread. <coughs> Alright, that's overdriven. So crystal bit. Careful now. All right. Let's go ahead and get the hourglass. Let's grab a potion. No, a scout trap. We're going to go ahead and place it in here. Right. 
You got nine seconds on my old. we're gonna push it I mean can't stop him oh no not gonna do that let's go up to lane let's push that turret Oh man. No. <laughs> yeah, get it. Get it. Nice. Good job. <gasps> no. That was a good shot. Okay, let's get the crypt or the clips prism, the chronograph. Uh yeah, and then just keep heading towards the aftershock. They're both going crucibles, so that's going to be nice. Uh, and they're probably going to get a... Or not crucibles, they're going uh, the reflex block. So they're probably going to go crucibles, meaning the aftershock might be nice. Because I'm the only one that's crystal power on my team. What the heck? I was like, hit it already. <laughs> you got a few shots popped onto the turret and that was it. Nice, nice. After after shock you go journey boots. Oh, he says this is tier two boots. Okay. Oh, mid game, yeah, this is tier two boots. Okay, so we wouldn't get that. Then he says reflex block. Oh no, either heavy prism or dragon heart. None of them are going. I'm gonna go reflex block actually. <laughs> Sorry guys, this ate breakfast, so like I have <coughs> like burpees coming up. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Not too bad. Yeah. Dang, I wanted that ace. <laughs> it's so greed. Uh, 
I bet you they get scared too now when they see me. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, heavy prism. Uh, I'll just go the Oakheart, whatever. And then the Dragonheart after that. Oh yeah, in case you guys are wondering, my name is Rumbly Solo now. I don't know if I said this in my last episode, I forgot. Whether or not I did. Uh, but it is Rumbly Solo now, and what that means is basically I changed it because of the fact that people had this misconception about my account, our previous account, which was called Rumbly Solo. It's the same account, I just got it renamed by Playoff Beard. Um, and I didn't want people to think that I was actually smurfing, because I'm not. This is actually a fairly high skill tier. Um, it is uh, the Hotness Silver. So. It's not too low, but it's not too high. It's just um, just right for me because I'm simply amazing my main account, simply amazing silver, and uh, yeah. So that's what's going on there. I just want people. I don't want people thinking I'm actually smurfing. I named it Rumbly Smurf for the sake of uh, just the, the pure fact that my guild name was called Team Smurf. So I took Smurf from their guild name into and put it into my name, and that's basically how it was created. So I wasn't I actually wasn't smurfing. If you guys don't know what smurfing is, it's essentially you take um, Hold on. Lots of action going on here. Enemy hero killed. Get it. You got it. Yeah, what, team, what smurfing is, is essentially you make a new account for the sake of being able to play against low skill tier players and just wipe the floor with them. That's what smurfing is. And I mean, technically I did do that, not for the sake of doing that, but because when I made the new account, I had to bring the ranking up. So therefore I did get paired against low skill tier, but not just for the, the sake of entertainment, for the sake of making a new account and getting that elo up. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the heavy prism next. <coughs> We're going to be going into a shatter glass here. <clears throat> Off we go. Enemy teams I actually need to focus box because he has the reflex block. Yeah, that hurts. Team captured the second minion mine. Allied minions are now at maximum strength. Yeah. Ciao, guys. Very nice. Aced. <laughs> I think this is probably close to game. Oh yeah, this game. Yay! Yeah! Denied! So, a pretty fun build to be honest. I mean, obviously I just had really good teammates. <laughs> My teammates just helped me really, like, keep the pressure in jungle like crazy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give them all thumbs up because I feel bad that we were just so aggressive and they're probably just having a really rough time and not a very enjoyable time. <laughs> Uh, I did. Alright, so this is, again, Soul of the Kids, uh, Kashka build, excuse me. And it's Alternating Current, Aftershock, Journey Boots, which I think you get the Journey Boots near the end. Yeah, because you only get second tier boots. And then it's Shatter Glass, and then a Crucible. I got Crucible a little bit early by accident. Whoops. Uh, you should have just gotten the 
Dragonheart instead of the Reflex block. And then have gotten the Heavy Prism and then, and then potentially then the Reflex block. And then you go into an Eclipse Prism, which then goes into a Shatter Glass. And then finally you pick up your Crucible and then defensive item. Second defensive item. Uh, so I think if I would have built a second defensive item, I probably would have gone just pure armor. No Atlas Bulldrum because Ringo does have his path or his second ability, his B ability that gives him the attack speed. But we can focus him down fairly fast. It was Vox whose abilities were hurting and his. Well, no, I don't know, because Vox is aftershock damage from his abilities, as well as CP damage from his abilities. Not really weapon power. Unless, I forgot what his ratios are. I, I kind of forgot whether or not one of them has a weapon power ratio. I think his first ability may. So I think she, or armor would have been good, if that's the case. Because uh, I definitely wouldn't have gone in ages, because there's no CP on their team besides the aftershock, and then their base damage on their abilities. Um, but yeah, I think overall, armor would have been the best way to go, uh, just because it helps mitigate the other two's damage as well, Ringo's as well as Cruel's, definitely making the Tension Bow not worthwhile anyways, unless the Tension Bow's true damage, I don't remember. God, there's a lot of things I don't remember here. Uh, Tension Bow, Armor Pierce, Weapon Power. Yeah, it just is bonus damage, so it's not true damage. True damage meaning it doesn't take any kind of mitigated effect from armors that your enemies have <coughs> but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Kashka player build pretty amazing build I like it it's very similar to my own in the sense that he gets alternating current and then everything else besides the aftershock um, except I go with a, another tornado trigger instead of the aftershock but I think this is actually a even better build personally uh, far, as far as pros and cons um, I guess I'm a little bit squishy, but that's not really a, a con per se with Kashka because I do have decent escape. So it's kind of a neutral uh, aspect of the build that I find. It's not necessarily bad or good, it's just um, something I've noticed. And then as far as anything else, let's see. Um... <laughs> there really wasn't anything that was really bad about it. The damage was fine. The reason why is because the alternating current, even though it has low um, damage effect on the actual effect of the alternating current, it's just supplemental to Kashka's damage herself through her abilities and then her, her ability to reduce the cooldown per attack on her abilities. So I think together the alternating current in the beginning is still fine and you do decent damage, especially against squishy characters like... Ringo and Vox, uh, they were really easy to burn down. More Ringo than Vox because Vox is pretty mobile, but Ringo for sure. Cruel, uh, having our Cruel there to help supplement my damage was really nice because we just burned him down too, regardless of his barriers. Um, and then finally, when I got the aftershock, I just turned into a bloodbath for the rest of the game because they couldn't do much after that. They killed me like twice, but we always ended up on top, as you can tell by the score, 10 to 28. <coughs> as far as pros, lots of uh, burst damage, alternate current from your basic attacks as well as your abilities and the aftershock, lots of lots of burst damage. Then near the end you're going to be super tanky actually because you're going to have a crucible plus your secondary defensive item so you're pretty beefy as well and yeah so and it's just an amazing build because it all synergizes well with Kashka and her abilities and how she gets the reduction in cooldown for her abilities per hit. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed. I sure did. It was pretty fun. I really enjoyed it, Soul the Kid. And uh, I think I might steal this for my own personal build. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!